Welcome back to The Real Wool. Today, we're going to be covering how to alternate between knits and purls. This is really useful because you can achieve a variety of stitch patterns by alternating between these two stitches in some capacity. We have a video showing what some of those different patterns are and you can take a look at that now or you can check that out after the link is in the description. Cool, so let's get started. Alternating between knits and purls is actually really easy. You just have to remember to move your tail forward and backwards for your knit or your purl. First, we are going to look at our stitches that we have right now on the needle. This is really useful to use as an indicator of what your next stitch is going to be. So we see here we have this tiny little V and that looks a lot different than the little bump right next to it. This little V indicates a knit and this little bump indicates that it is a purl. So for this particular pattern, which is just a one by one rib stitch, we're going to go ahead and knit the knits and purl the purls. So you'll slide your needle in, bring your tail in between, and make sure that you have that T over top, just like we demonstrated in our knit video. So just go ahead and pull that stitch off. Now I'm gonna bring the tail forward. Let me go ahead and do that one more time. The tail will be behind because we just did a knit. So bring it forward and in between our two needles. Then go in from the top, like we discussed in our how to purl video. You're going to loop your tail around the back to the front and slowly slide that needle back. And then we're gonna slip that stitch just off. Now to go back into a knit, we'll take the tail and bring it behind. So again, for that purl, our tail was in the front and we're just going to take it and bring it back around behind so that we can go ahead and knit the next stitch. You can see that little V right there. So we know that we're gonna knit it. So just slide your needle right in and go ahead and scoop that stitch off of your needle and bring that tail back around the front. And we're just going to go ahead and purl. You can see that little bump right there tells us we need to purl it. So we'll bring that tail around the back to the front slide slowly and remove that next stitch right off of our needle. So from here, we're just going to keep alternating between these two. Again, if you aren't sure what stitch is next, you can always look for that V or that bump. Our yarn here is in the back and that bump shows that we're gonna have to purl it. So we're gonna bring that forward and go in through the top to purl that next stitch. And again, we're just gonna go ahead and complete this process for the rest of the row. So as we finish up this row, this next step feels minor, but it's actually important in any project that you are knitting up. You'll always want to make sure that when you start your next row, that you bring the tail around the backside of the needle from the front and down behind. Otherwise, it will mess up your next row. So now this pattern is just going to start all over again. We are going to knit our knits and purl our purls and so on. So let's just go ahead and do one more row so you can get comfortable with how it looks.
And there you have it. That's how you alternate between knits and pearls. You can check out the links in the description below for more of our knitting how-to videos. And if you're brand new to knitting and need a place to start, you can watch our super simple beginner's guide to knitting playlist. If you have any questions or feedback, you can leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching and be sure to like and subscribe.